Hi there, this is Mal from Creative Pen. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the prior sensitivity of any VAC tablet that you are using. Now, I did a video of something like this sometime around sometime around last year, but uh, most people complained that the fix did not work for them, especially those people who make use of um, the VAC A15 and the A15 Pro. But for people who make use of the um, VAC A30, I really can't tell about the VAC A50 if that fix really work or it did not work but in this video i'm going to be making use of bike a50 and also test this method on bike a30 and also on a15 it all works perfectly so any tablet you have as long as it's bike the moment you apply this fix it's going to work and the previous fix usually works on that particular version of photoshop that you have now when you apply that fix you won't be able to make use of that fix in any other versions of photoshop except you reapply that fix to that particular version of photoshop well this fix is going to work across every versions of photoshop no matter the kind of version well i can't really tell for anything below um photoshop cc17 and so on but that should also work alongside with all those subjects and if you're having this issue with other programs like autodex sketchbook Corel painter clip studio paint and so on this fix should also work for you now all you just have to do you just need to do some little settings just one settings in particular which we are missing so let's get right into this fix now before we do that i'm going to show you two programs i'm going to be making use of photoshop 21 and autodex sketchbook to show you that the pressure don't work until we apply this fix so let's just get right into this so right here i have photoshop 21 open i already have photoshop 2019 2020 and 2021 on my pc but i'm not going to be using it to show you all those i'm not going to be using all those programs so that this video is not going to be longer than i ex than i expected after this fix along all the programs in photoshop 2019 2020 and 2021 it works perfectly without any issue and also autodex sketchbook and every other programs which involves paint painting all right so right here we are in photoshop and we are going to test this fix first with photoshop i'm going to select my brush too by hitting the b key on my keyboard now this brush that i selected is part of my brush pack so if you don't have it you can check some other videos or maybe i'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can get this brush pack and download now this brush that i selected right here has a pressure option alongside with this brush but you can see now that when i paint there is no pressure right here and if i also select another brush which is most of my brush have the pressure sensitivity option but right now none of them is working perfectly the three brushes right here have the pressure sensitivity option but since that this pressure sensitivity option is not being active right now there is no way you can see that with any of all these brushes right here so now you can see that as i paint it's just giving me the regular stroke which the mouse gives me it's just like i am making use of a mouse to create all these strokes right now but okay so now when i go over to autodex sketchbook and try to see if this is going to work also with a default pen in autodex sketchbook well i'm not a user of autodex sketchbook and the moment i start painting you can see that there is no pressure sensitivity option right here now it is time for us to apply this fix and see if this fix is really going to help us fix the pressure sensitivity option well according to Vike, because they gave me this tip though some other youtuber out there might have been able to do the story as some, something like this but i've not been able to come across this kind of a fix so i had to contact i have to contact Vike for them to give me something and see if it's going to work so they give me this fix and that is what we are going to be applying right here in this video all right so in order for us to apply this fix all you just have to do when you are done installing your tablet driver you just have to close every programs you are using well i'm not going to be closing the autodex sketchbook as well as photoshop so that we are just going to try to see if some other method are going to work so i'm just going to minimize both programs and go back to my desktop or you just have to do locate the software driver just double click on it and open it and this is how it's going to be when you open it the thing you just need to do next you just have to go over to mapping and when you go over to mapping this place right here that says enable the windows ink function all you just have to do check that little box right there and that is all you have to do and the moment you check that little box right there go back into your softwares and see if the pressure sensitivity 
have started working. So I'm going to stay testing this first with the Autodesk sketchbook and see if this actually fixed the pressure sensitivity. All right, so right now as I keep painting, you can see that the pressure sensitivity option has been fixed right here in Autodesk sketchbook and it is working perfectly, no issues. I have several brushes, several brush strokes right here and you see that it keeps working. When I press hard on my tablet, it is working perfectly and this is really good. All right, so now we'll go into Photoshop and see if this actually works in Photoshop as well or do we need to restart Photoshop before it starts working? All right, so I'm going to pen and see. All right, now the fix also work in Photoshop without restarting Photoshop. So now the moment I keep painting with a lighter pressure on my tablet and I'm getting the lighter stroke and when I press hard, I am getting the thick stroke. So I'm going to right click to go into my brush and now you can see that each and every one of the brush right here is now having the pressure sensitivity options and it is working perfectly right here. Now, what if this fix did not work for you? Well, according to Vike, this is a um a fix that it's really going to work on no circumstances so if you find out that this fix did not work for you there are some certain things you just need to confirm and those things is based on your tablet hardware and your tablet software all you just have to do is you just need to uninstall your tablet driver and reinstall the tablet driver well there is still one thing that can cause this issue now if you just install any versions of photoshop from 2019 and above now there are some things you don't need to do and there are some things you need to do but you just need to check to make sure that you don't have any error because after applying this fix and if it works for you you can get some kind of um blind jitter with all these brushes feeling like it's going from one screen to another or just working at the edge of your document now if you have something like that well that fix is very easy all you just have to do you just need to go back to your desktop or if you like you can just hit on windows button plus arrow key on your keyboard and type in app percentage app data percentage and hit on enter when you get into the folder all right this open up in my second screen so i'm going to drag it into this part now when you open up the folder all you just have to do go into the adobe folder go down to the version of photoshop you have as you can see right here i have photoshop 2020 photoshop 2021 and i also have photoshop 2019 folder right here so the version of photoshop you are making use of that is the folder you are going to look in. Now let's assume since I am making use of Photoshop 2021, I am just going to double click on the version of Photoshop I am using, which is Photoshop 2021. This folder is going to open up for you. Once the folder open up for you, then double click on the Adobe Photoshop settings. All you just have to do, you just want to locate one particular file, which is PS user config. Just locate that file and delete that file. The moment you delete that file, go back into Photoshop and the pressure sensitivity option should be working perfectly. After that, if you have any other issue, just check your tablet, check your pen and make sure that in the driver right here, your pen pressure is working perfectly because the moment you click on the driver itself right here, this pen pressure progress bar is going to show right here to tell you that your pressure is working properly. And if this is working properly, then make sure that Every other issues, just take a check around your windows and make sure that every other thing is working properly because this fix is something that's really going to work under no circumstances as long as you have the driver and you have the right tablet. And this might also work on every other tablet because there are other tablets out there which usually have these issues. So if you came across this issue, just make use of this method and it's going to fix that for you. Now, if you've watched the previous video, which I did before based on fixing this pressure sensitivity option, if you find any error, like what I just said, you have the um, strokes and line um, giving you some kind of um, weld thing in your Photoshop. Just look at that file which you place in your Photoshop settings just the way that I showed you the PS user config. Just delete that file and everything should get back to normal. And that brings us to the end of this video and I hope this fix really helped you solve the, his, the misery of getting your tablets to work properly or the pressure sensitivity option to work properly. Now, most of you get the tablet because of that pressure option because it feels like um, you make use of a pencil and have a control, a total control over the kind of line or the kind of width of line you create right inside of Photoshop. So if the pressure sensitivity is not working, it's as good as you sticking to your mouse or not even making use of a tablet as all. So if this video really helped you, make sure to hit that subscribe button, not just subscribe button, ring the bell icon so that you, my friend, don't miss any new tips and tricks I'll be posting every week. Well, this week is not much of a tutorial. So Sometime tomorrow, I think I will be uploading a tutorial or early next week, I will be uploading a tutorial. So see you guys in my next video and make sure that you stay 
create.